In this video, we're going to take an even deeper dive into the limitations of ChatGPT for the automation of medical coding, compared to AMI solution which has been developed for over 20 years with the specific use case of automating this process. We're going to take a look at several examples where ChatGPT's lack of coding knowledge becomes extremely apparent. In this first example, I simply asked ChatGPT to identify the correct code for HFPEF, to which it accurately identified the correct terminology heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, along with a diagnosis code of I50.82. However, that code is incorrect, as it indicates biventricular heart failure, whereas the correct code, due to a lack of specificity, should be I50.30, unspecified diastolic heart failure. AMI's platform is smart enough to identify the correct code based on the appropriate specificity, while ChatGPT is not. In the next example, I'm providing some sample text documentation and asking ChatGPT to identify the appropriate diagnosis codes based on the language provided. ChatGPT does generate a number of codes including R05 for cough, E11.9 for type 2 diabetes mellitus without complications, I10 for essential hypertension, I50.9 for heart failure unspecified, N18.6 for end stage renal disease, and Z99.2 for dependence on renal dialysis. However, upon further examination, several of these codes are incorrect or incomplete. For example, R05 isn't a complete code. It needs a fourth character. R05.9 would be the correct code. The diabetes code should be E11.22, diabetes with CKD. The patient also has CKD, and unless this is specifically noted as not related, it defaults to this combination code. Hypertension should be captured with a combination code of I13.11, hypertensive heart and CKD with heart failure, stage 5, or ESRD. AMI's platform is smart enough to piece together these data points to arrive at the correct code, while ChatGPT is not. In the third and final example, I asked ChatGPT to identify the appropriate codes based on the sample ED visit provided. It identified a number of codes including 034.03, maternal care for known or suspected poor fetal growth, third trimester, fetus 1, R10.9, unspecified abdominal pain, O24.4, gestational diabetes mellitus in pregnancy, O09.512, supervision of pregnancy with history of preeclampsia, third trimester, Z86.31, personal history of hypertension, and R80.9. However, upon further examination, many of the codes identified are incorrect or incomplete. For example, O34.03 is just outright wrong. You would need to add O26.893 for the abdominal pain third trimester. O24.4 is not a complete code. The correct code for gestational diabetes unspecified control is O24.419. Hypertension is noted as pre-existing, so 013.2 is incorrect. It should be 010.913, pre-existing hypertension, complicating pregnancy third trimester. And you would need to add Z3A.31 for 31 weeks gestation. AMI's technology has the expertise to identify the correct codes based on the available documentation, while ChatGPT does not. These are just a few simple but important examples that demonstrate the importance of utilizing AI that was designed for specific use cases such as medical coding. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get updates on new and exciting content as we release more videos in this series on ChatGPT.